Did you know you can eat your way to business success? Hey, it's Aisha Cogborn with Startup Life Support, the place where we trade excuses for solutions. Now, a lot of the entrepreneurs that I work with complain that they don't have enough energy to get it all done. Well, your solution is not at the bottom of that coffee cup. In fact, it may not have anything to do with even how much sleep you're getting. The question I would ask you is, what are you eating? Now, I want you to imagine yourself as a luxury vehicle. Now, you know that takes the premium stuff, right? Would you pull up to the gas station in your Bentley or your Lexus and then put the cheap gas in it? Or even worse, would you say, you know what, I don't even have time to go to the gas station. I'm just gonna take this leftover cup of coffee, I'll pour that in the tank. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Now, would you dare expect your car to run regularly? Well, that's what you're doing to your body every time you pull through that drive through or you stock your pantry with food that has ingredients in it that you can't even pronounce. I get it. Convenience food is cheap and it's easy, but you're paying a high price with your health and with your productivity. Now, I stopped eating meat, poultry, beef, pork, everything except for fish six years ago because I was starting to have some serious digestive problems. Now, I'm not suggesting that you do something that drastic. In fact, minor changes can make a major difference. So consider these three startup life support suggestions. Suggestion number one is eat food as close to the way God made it as possible. Once food gets over processed, it loses its nutritional value. So you could be consuming 4,000 calories a day and still be malnourished. Sounds crazy, but it's true. And you may not think you're a fan of fruits and vegetables, but I know you can find one or two items that you actually enjoy eating. And stop telling yourself that produce is too expensive. Prescription drugs and doctor visits cost a whole lot more. Suggestion number two, plan ahead. Remember back in the days when you went on field trips in school and your mother would pack you a lunch? You can still do that. So pack a lunch, take it with you, full of healthy and tasty items. And here's a suggestion that might sound a little intense, but I promise you, if you try it, it's so worth it. My son and I have started doing weekly meal prep. So on Sunday night, we'll have the oven on, something cooking on the stove. I've got the rice cooker going. I'm chopping fruits and vegetables. And at the end of the night, we have a refrigerator full of individual containers with our lunch in it for the whole week. And all you got to do, get up, grab, and go. It is just as convenient as going through the drive through but a whole lot better for you. And you're gonna have tons of energy. And the third suggestion, drink more water. One of the signs of dehydration is fatigue. And if you go for a second cup of coffee because you're tired, you're just gonna make it worse. So here's what I do. I've got a gallon jug that I fill up in the morning, set it on my desk, and at the end of the day, I need to be at the bottom of that jug. I do run to the bathroom a lot, I'll just tell you that. But then you're getting more exercise, right? Run to the bathroom, get more exercise, drink more water. It works, right? So if you have a hard time keeping up with, am I drinking enough water? I suggest this app called Plant Nanny. I love it. So you drink your water, then you go to your app, and you water your plant. If you don't drink any water, you can't water your plant, your plant dies. Now, you don't want to be a plant killer, do you? So drink your water. So there are your three suggestions. And don't go trying to do all this stuff at one time. Pick one suggestion to implement this week. And once you get that down, then add another, and then add another. You got a tip you wanna share? Be sure to tell us about it in the comments below. And also, if you're having some challenges, tell us about that too, and we'll do what we can to help. So that's it for Startup Life Support this week. If you've enjoyed this episode, be sure to share it, because sharing is caring. And until next time, have a wonderful week on purpose.